gotta tell the other badgers. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Me too, hurry, 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 hurry. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Run, 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 run. I'm almost there. Come on, one last sprint and we can meet our friends. Boys and girls, it's time to worship. And when we worship, we focus all of our attention on the Lord. And today, we're gonna tell him that he is worthy. He is worthy of every song we could ever sing, every breath we could ever breathe. And we're gonna tell him, Jesus, your name is above every other name. And Jesus, you're the only one who could ever save. And we're going to tell him that he is so holy. There is no one like you, Lord, so that we can build our life upon him. He's a firm foundation. And we can put our trust in him alone. And we will not be shaken. So let's sing together. every song we could ever sing. You're worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me and I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation and I will put my trust in you alone and i will not be shaken yes i will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation and i will put my trust in you alone and i will holy there is no one like you there is none beside you open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me into those for those who you love around me you're so worthy Lord Jesus, your name is above every other name. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. The Bible Basics. God's word is true for all people for all places, 
and for all time. The Bible has 66 books written by 40 authors over 1,500 years that fit together to tell one story about who God is and how much He loves you. Nice, nice job. job! Let's learn this month's memory verse. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 17. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Say it with me this time, and I'll show you some motions that you can do along with me. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Matthew 3.17 Great job! Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Nice job. Mother, 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 my bird. Don't you love five thousand? You love Santa Claus. You should draw a picture. Five thousand. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Whoa! Did you just run a marathon or something? Yeah, you're all sweaty and gross. And panting. Why are you panting? Guys, I have the best news ever. Scoutmaster Keith is sending us on a super secret special mission. A super secret special mission? What is it? We have to deliver this super important letter to Badger headquarters. Ooh. Wow. Wow. So, how do we get to the Badger Scout headquarters? Well, I think we have to take this map to get there. I really have been wanting to get my map navigation badge. But we already have our map navigation badge. I think we should work on our astronomy badges and navigate using the stars, right? Ma. But I have the astronomy badge. I vote map. Oh, I think we should do the stars. I want to do the map. I definitely want to do the map. No way. Stars for sure. I mean, that's ridiculous. Map is the only way to go. I think totally that is so silly. Guys, we want to do the stars. stars. Guys, stars. guys, yes, I'm with you. Guys. guys. Like, yeah, Melissa? I have the perfect solution. Why don't we make it a competition? <gasps> we make a copy of the letter. Deb, Michelle, and I take one copy and follow the map to headquarters. And Aaron, Beth, and Mary will take the other copy and follow the stars. Whoever makes it to headquarters first wins. Ooh, I like this idea. We are totally going to crush you. Not if we crush you first. Hooray for badgers, hooray for badgers. Someone in the crowd shout out hooray.
Yes. Like we said earlier, following the stars is the best way to get to headquarters. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Can we just, like, calm down and take a seat for a minute? This looks like a nice campsite. Should we stop here for the night? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. All right. Whatever. Okay, you guys, this is weird. What should we do? Ooh, we can make s'mores. Or sing songs. What if we tell a story? Great idea. What story should we tell? Hmm. Are there any about following a map or the stars? That could work. Hmm. I got it. What about the story of the Magi from the book of Matthew in the New Testament? The Magi what? The Magi, you know, the wise men from the Christmas story. Oh. I'll start us off. The night baby Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky, a star that shone so brightly it made all of the other stars look dim beside it. The star was like a spotlight, a spotlight to show the world that his son Jesus had arrived. Some wise men from the east knew something big had happened because of the special star they saw. So they packed up their camels and started out on a long journey to bring precious gifts to this very special baby. We don't know exactly who these wise men were, but they were probably Persian members of the order of priests, philosophers and astrologers called magi. That's kind of a funny sounding word. Can you say that with me? Magi. Great job. These magi did a lot of really important things. They performed religious ceremonies, explained what things meant to people, educated the royal family, and even talked to God for others. Sounds important, right? They were also really good astronomers, which means that the stars were their specialty. A lot of times we hear about three wise men, but the Bible doesn't tell us how many of them there were. What the Bible does tell us is that there were three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Goldfish, Frankenstein, and more what? Not Frankenstein and more, frankincense and myrrh. Frankincense is an incense burned for its aroma Think of it like the very best, most amazing candle ever. And myrrh is an expensive perfume used for embalming. What these gifts are isn't as important as what they represent. These weren't just gifts you'd give to anyone. These were gifts for a king. So the wise men started traveling, following that special star that God has placed in the sky. The wise men traveled far to the very house where Jesus' family lived. A lot of times we see the Magi visiting baby Jesus in the stable. But by the time the wise men made it to see King Jesus, it had been many months. Now, Joseph and Mary lived in a house, and baby Jesus was probably more like toddler Jesus. But when the wise men found him, they gave him gifts and bowed down and worshipped him. Wise men and women like you and me are still seeking Jesus today. 
But this time, we don't need a star or a map to help us find him. We can find Jesus by reading God's word, the Bible. The Bible is like our map and our star that leads us to Jesus. And we don't need to bring expensive gifts either. Jesus only wants our love. Let's see what you learned from today's Bible story. Was today's story from the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's right. Today's story was from the book of Matthew. That's in the New Testament. Next one. The Magi, or the wise men, went on a long journey seeking baby Jesus. What did God give them to help them find their way? A map? A trail? A star? Or a really cool app for their phones? That's right. God put a special star in the sky that shone like a spotlight. The Magi followed the star to find Jesus. Here's another. The Magi brought gifts with them on their journey. What gifts did they bring to baby Jesus? Goldfish, Frankenstein, and more? Or gold, frankincense, and myrrh? Yes, they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh, which were precious and expensive gifts fit for a king. Last one. The Magi used a star to find Jesus. But when we seek Jesus today, we don't need a star or map. What can we use when we seek Jesus? That's right, we can read God's word, the Bible. The Bible is like a map to help us seek Jesus. Thanks for showing me what you learned from today's Bible story. See you next time. Jesus, 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 I believe that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, I believe. So let's worship him as we sing these truths about who he is. Thank you so much for loving us, Lord. Thank you for being our rescuer. Thank you for reminding me that the time spent with you is precious. Thank you for inviting us to your party in heaven. We love you, Lord, and we want to worship you. Through every battle, every heartbreak, every circumstance, I believe that you are my fortress, you are my portion, you are my hiding place. Oh, I believe you are the way, the truth, the light. I believe you are the way, the truth, the light. I believe through every blessing, every promise, every breath I take. I believe that you are provider. Yes, you are protector. You are the one I love. I believe you are the way, the truth, the light. I believe you are the way, the truth, the light. I believe you are the way. The light, yes, I believe you are the way, the truth, the light, I believe you are. Yes, I believe you are. I believe you
You know, I'm really glad we got that letter delivered to the headquarters for Scoutmaster Keith. I think it went so much faster that we were all working together. It sure did. Other than working together, though, what else did we learn today? Seeking Jesus is always the wise thing to do. Let's say that again all together. Seeking Jesus is always the wise thing to do. Let's pray together and you can say what I say. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, may we be wise, may we be wise, and seek you, and seek you, like the Magi, like the Magi. You are worthy, you are worthy, of all of our worship, of all of our worship. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Kids Church Online. See you next time.